everybody and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Uh, today we are going to be looking at something a lot of people have been mentioning to me uh, over the last sort of few weeks and that is Mixamo animations. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me do I use them. I do not but uh, I will be using one for our grenade throw in an upcoming video so I thought I'd quickly cover this for anyone who's still following along. Um, so to begin, you want to, so now I've done this for myself, but if you right click, come down to asset um, actions and export our uh, skeletal mesh of Quinn, um, and then go over to Mixamo website, which is this. You log in, you can use your Google account, Facebook, whatever you want to use, whatever you feel comfortable with. But once you've logged in, you should see the screen. And all I've done is I've clicked upload character and I used that um, FBX file of our Quinn um, character. It did take me two tries. The first time it, it aired out, but the second time it has come through fine. Uh, and it just means that when we take it back out, it should still have the same bones and make us uploading animations way easier. So all I'm gonna do is now just search for a throw. Oh, I've done that in characters in our animations. And this one should be perfectly fine. There you go. It's working absolutely perfectly. Uh, we will probably grab a few others down the line when we really do try to um, uh, flesh out our grenade throws with rifles and things like that, or crouching, for example. Uh, I don't think there's a pistol one, which is a bit of a shame, um, but I'm sure we can get around that actually without too much hassle. But let's go for a grenade throw when we don't have a gun in the next episode. And then we can flesh it out down the line. But click download. Uh, keep everything the same. And just click download. Uh, it should come up. This will be the third attempt I've had at doing this. Uh, and I've realized this is probably why. So yeah, throw three is what we want. So go into Unreal. Go to contents and go to third person. Uh, I've created a Mixamo animations folder just to throw all these in uh, once we've downloaded them. So grab the third one, because that's the one, that's all it took me to do. Um, and get the female protagonist skeleton uh, and import all. Now, because it's set up to our, Qu our uh, Quinn skeleton and character, it should all work correctly without any hassle. Obviously, if you're importing it using one of Mixamo's characters, the likelihood is there's going to be a hell of a lot more work to do. Hence why I always say export the mesh you're using and put that into Mixamo just to make it work that little bit better. It might take a while to, to pull it in, but it shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Okay, so now that it's in, we should be able to delete these two um, here because we don't need them get rid of them and uh, force delete them yet and then if we retarget those um, if we retarget those to our oh it's already done there you go so there you go she's got the throw animation already so I did this two times before I made this recording just to make sure I'm getting it right and I'm not going to make any mistakes. And the one mistake I was doing that I, it was that I didn't import that Quinn um, mannequin into Mixamo. The times where I use their mannequins, they're just the wrong size and they don't transfer well. So always upload the, the Quinn or the Manny mesh, depending on which one you're using, uh, and then export it using that, that skeletal mesh. Uh, it's way faster, way easier, and you'll have less hiccups along the way. So that's how I do Mixamo animations anyway. Hopefully this has been really helpful to you guys. Um, and going forward, we'll probably grab a few other animations just to flesh out our grenade animations uh, going forward. Uh, luckily, we don't really need to worry about whatever the legs are doing. We just need to know worry about what the up half's doing. So we'll definitely have one for no gun out and we'll probably have one for rifle out. We'll just have to work out a way of adding a pistol one in at some point down the line. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. Um, don't forget to leave a little like. Uh, hit that subscribe button uh, if this has been helpful to you, and you can also change your mind down the line. And if you need any help, please let me know, either uh, in the comments 
or in the Discord, I'll be more than happy to try and help you out in any way I can with anything I haven't covered. So thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye.